Pakeye, Pakeye, on the jet of whose chest in the Pamsham Gay on the jet. Say, woman, key and follow me, God. Messy, Senior. Kailini Ministries here continuing our journey through Psalm 119. We're taking Psalm 119 and breaking it down into sevens and praying it into our lives because though tragedy go on in the world we are under the shadow of the Most High. So we will go into Psalm 119 57 through 63 Psalm 119 57 through 63 now let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, get it, let's get it, get it, get it, get it. Jehovah is mine, and I promise to obey. 58, with all my heart, I want your blessing. Be merciful just as you promised. 59 and 60, I thought about the wrong direction in which I was heading, and I turned around and came back running to you. 61. Evil men have tried to drag me into sin, but I am firmly anchored to your laws. 62. At midnight, I will rise to give thanks to you for your good laws. 63. Anyone is my brother who fears and trusts the Lord and obeys him. May like I Lily pray with you. Yes. Now here we go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever father we come into your presence once again because we don't have nobody else to summon but the presence of the mighty god who can continue to guide us and lead us into all righteousness heavenly father we have decided that our duty is to obey her commands. Heavenly Father, believing John 3.16 is a fact and only a generous God like you can do these miracle signs and wonder. Let's make it personal and say Jehovah is mine and I will obey in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, reveal your heart to us. We want to know you better. Heavenly Father, make us away Father, we come into your presence once again because we don't have nobody else to summon but the presence of the mighty God who can continue to guide us and lead us into all righteousness Heavenly Father we have decided that our duty is to obey her commands Heavenly Father believing John 3 16 is a fact and only a generous God like you can do these miracle signs and wonder. Let's make it personal and say Jehovah is mine and I will obey in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, reveal your heart to us. We want to know you better. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father you made a way so we could continue to go grow glow in you. And that is John 60, who was 316 who is the way the truth and the light oh heavenly father make us aware of how mighty you are you've already showed us your compassion by sending your only begotten son with all of our hearts we do not only want blessings but to obey you with all of our hearts 
cling to your word with all of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we just want you with all of our hearts in the name of Jesus. You are a merciful God who keeps his promises. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And thank you, Heavenly Father. You reign and we give you all the glory in Christ Jesus' name. In Christ Jesus' name, we give you glory, Heavenly Father. We give you glory, Heavenly Father. We give you glory, Heavenly Father. We praise your mighty name. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we have thought about you, our life carefully and we decided to follow your rules, your commands. Without wasting any time, we were hurried to obey your commands and say, I have decided to follow Christ Jesus, our redeemed Savior. Heavenly Father, we thought about going the wrong direction in which we were headed. We turned back, running back to you, our maker. We don't want this world no more. If we don't serve Christ, then we serve this world. And this world is filled with many mysteries but our one true God said his only was God to send for us we turn and ask you to guide our steps to our destiny in you Christ Jesus even when we feel trapped by the enemy we have your word to keep us from falling we have your word to keep us from falling your word lights up our way your word is a lamp upon our feet a lamp upon our feet Evil men have tried to drag us into sin, but I am firmly anchored in your laws. Your word keeps us steady. I pray we keep your word close to our hearts, our minds to illuminate our soul. Let us arise and shine so the people will see your light within us in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray that we have a time to have the function with you. Let us get up and thank you because your laws are fair to us. Heavenly Father, Thank you. Thank you for your will for us. It's to get us to, to know you more. Your will for us is to get us to know you more as we devote our life to you, our King. At midnight, I will rise to give you my thanks to your good laws. Your laws are are not to harm us, but to give us a, a glimpse of your faithfulness, a glimpse of your love, your love for you, a glimpse of your faithfulness, a glimpse of your love, a glimpse of how mighty you really are. Oh, Heavenly Father, we stay at your feet, worshiping at your feet because we have no other King who resurrected with all power. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you, Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray everyone who believes in you, Continue to worship. I pray everyone who believes in you, obey your commands. Heavenly Father, I pray we continue to love your teaching and be fishers of men to real people into your glory. Show us your glory, Lord. Show us your glory. Heavenly Father, anyone is a brother who fears, is a brother to me who fears and trusts and obeys the Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for brothers and sisters in Christ that will continue to lead us in the way that you continue to direct us. Let us, Heavenly Father, let us reach out to the world so they can see how great you are. How great you are that you gave your, us a king. You gave us a king, Christ Jesus. I pray that we continue to go, grow, grow in this Christ Jesus, our redeemed Savior. I pray we continue to activate our armor in Christ Jesus, our redeemed Savior. Because the victory is already won. He, he already won the victory when he was on the cross and said it was finished. It was finished in his name because he resurrected just like he said he would just like he said he would and just like the people prophesied he would he was from the light of David David the worshiper even through whatever he went through he worshiped so Father God let us continue to go grow grow and activate our armor in you Christ Jesus name we pray amen thank you for allowing us to pray with you and yours La Kailini Ministries, Delivering Kingdom Business, what to the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus, be blessed, blessings, blessings, blessings to you and yours.